Hello and welcome to Audacious Devotionals. It's great to have you with us today. My name is Ben Clifford and I'm delighted to be sharing with you today. I am the Young Adults Pastor over at Chester Campus with my wife Anna and send in love and greetings to you from Chester and from all the family over there. Um, today I want to share with you a little bit of my heart um, around looking out for other people and um, I'm going to start with uh, looking at a verse in mm. Philippians chapter 2 where it says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition and vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Not look into your own interests, but also each of you to the interests of others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the, is the, gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. One of my favorite passages, I absolutely love this. And it's, it's really talking about humility um, and love and really just about us taking the same mindset as that of Jesus in our relationships with each other. And that is to not look out to our own interests primarily, but also to the interests of others. What an amazing passage that is. And actually in Matthew 22 as well, Jesus is challenged to, um, as to which is the greatest commandment. And, and Jesus responds by saying, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind and love one another. And those two combined uh, are really the cover everything in terms of what God's commanding us to do and it it's no surprise there that again it's talking about loving other people loving God and loving other people as our, our primary focus in in life and I wonder today as as you woke up this morning you know what the first thing on your mind is it's it's so easy isn't it to be you know, thinking about our own circumstances and spend so much of our day thinking about what we're doing and, and what what our plans are you know we think about the coming months and what our plans for life are and and even planning and budgeting for the year ahead and so often it's easy to just get caught up in our own circumstances you know what am I going to do today you know how's work going to be and and even our prayer life can be so focused on on the things that we need and the things that we want but my challenge today is really to think beyond ourselves and and recognizing what a difference in our culture we can make if we have the same attitude as that of Jesus, who being in very nature God, didn't consider equality with God something to grasp, but made himself a servant and put serving other people at the forefront of everything he did, um, even to the point of death. And for me, if we take that into our everyday lives, what a difference we can make. And if we go into our workplaces, but actually thinking not about ourselves, but other people, or if we go into our schools or our um even into church on a Sunday, what's our, what's our attitude in going into church on a Sunday? Is it, is it about what we can get from the service or is it about actually people responding to God and, and people going away with, with lives changed? And we had the privilege um, earlier this year, um, I went down to, to Cardiff campus as part of a mission trip, as part of Audacious Missions. And the thing that I noticed most about that mission was that actually it by default shifted my focus so while I went down there and I was you know I was looking forward and excited to the trip actually as I got there it became very much about the team and and looking out for each other and making sure that the team was okay and then here in the streets at Cardiff and and thinking about the Cardiff campus thinking about the people in the city of Cardiff and as we went and engaged in conversation it was all focused on the people and and how we could change lives in the city of Cardiff for me, that's such a great image of, of what we're called to do as a church, actually in that glimpse of mission to say, actually, what a difference can I make today 
if actually I, I focus on the needs of others rather than the needs of myself. That mission was great for me to be able to, to reset that focus and say, actually, how can I make a difference today? And it did it naturally because that was the that was the purpose of the trip. That was the purpose of what we were there for. And, you know, I didn't know the people I was coming into contact with. So I was less worried about myself and the impact on myself and, and really at, there for the purpose of the trip. But actually, as we apply that to our daily lives as well, you know, if we were to take each step and each day by stepping into our lives and saying, actually, God, who do you want me to talk to today? Who is it that you want me to engage in a new way? Who is it you want me to start a conversation with? Who's on the outside of my my circle? Who's in the outside of the workplace that, that needs somebody to come alongside them and show them love? What difference can I make in my culture today? As I walk around the, the shops, as I go into Tesco, as do any of the name <laughs> stores that you use, yeah, what difference can I make in there? Am, am I just there to do my shopping or actually am I serving the purpose of God in my community? I encourage you today to take a fresh look at your circumstances, take a fresh look at your day and think to yourself, how can I be like Jesus today? How can I serve my community? How can I be engaged and how can I make a difference? Can you imagine how one conversation can rechange the destiny of a whole family. When I was in Cardiff, I had a conversation with somebody on the streets and uh, just gave him a cookie, a free cookie. And he was like, oh, why, why are you giving me a free cookie? And I said, just want to, you know, show that we love you. We're from Audacious Church. Just want to say, hey, um, invited him to church on the Sunday. And, and to my joy, on the Sunday morning, I rock up at church for the first time at Cardiff. And not only is is this guy there, but he's bought his, his wife, he's bought um, his kids along he's brought his kids friends along um, they've all come along just to, to engage and it su- suddenly struck me in that moment that actually just one conversation and one bit of generosity on a street of giving somebody a free cookie actually can change the whole destiny of the family it can change generations to come because actually one life changed one life coming to church on a Sunday and making a decision can reset the whole of eternity for that family what a privilege that is that we get to be a part of that. And I can encourage you today that you can do that, not just on mission, but actually in your home life as well as you engage the people around you. What difference can you make to eternity based off of one of your conversations today? I want to encourage you as a takeaway from from this, that first of all, to to look beyond yourself today. As you go into what you're doing, just, just take a look beyond yourself, see other people for who they are, look out for the needs of others and just just change that mindset as you go into today to think what difference can I make to somebody's life and secondly I just encourage you to think about audacious missions it's something that just resets your focus it's something that that sets your focus beyond yourself and helps you to transfer that into your daily life we've got so many opportunities coming up so why don't you just check those out and I encourage you to be a part of the team to to make a difference in the cities around us and across the world Why don't I pray for us today and uh, encourage you as we go. Father God, I thank you that today we can make a difference. I thank you that today you are with us in all that we do. And I thank you that today eternity can be changed because of a decision that we make today. So God be with us today and help us to recognise those opportunities. Help us to recognise where we can make a difference. And God, will you go before us, soften people's hearts and help us today to, to change the course of history through your love touching people's lives. In Jesus' name, amen. It is a privilege to have you with us today and I hope that this has spoken to you this morning. But why don't you take this away and and think about what you can do today and check out all the Audacious Missions website and think about maybe whether you want to next year play a part in making a difference in the cities around us. Thanks very much and see you later.